One great convenience with Anime Studio is the shortcut keys, and that goes for any software that you use. What's great now in version 10 is you can set up custom shortcut keys for most major functions in Anime Studio. So let's take a look at how we can achieve this. First, you'll need to go to your Help menu, and then go all the way down to the bottom here where it says Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. So now you have a new window up here, and your current settings will probably be set to default. Now what you can do is scroll through the default settings and basically see what has been assigned to what shortcut key. But let's say that you want to create a new preset for your shortcuts. You can go to New, and you'll then need to give your preset a name. Well, let's say for instance I work between Premiere and Anime Studio quite a lot, and I want the shortcut keys to reflect that of Premiere. So I could go in and let's say name this one Premiere, and then click OK. And now I can edit any of these shortcut keys in the Premiere template. So let's say, for instance, I know one here, the export animation. That one in Premiere is actually Command M because it stands for Media, Export Media. And so let's say I'm always trying to use Command M in Anime Studio because I'm so used to how that works in Premiere. Well, now I can change that. So I can click on the shortcut for the command E, and I can just simply hold in command and hit M, and I'm good to go. Now, in this case, it says that command M is already in use for smooth. So I'm probably going to want to correct that so that there's no conflict with the shortcut keys. So I can go find the smooth option, it's right here, and then I could assign it something else. Or let's say if I don't use it at all, I could simply delete it. So let's say I don't use smooth much. You know, it's just something I don't use. I really don't want to assign a command to it. Well, I can just highlight it and then hit the delete key, and that will remove the shortcut then from the list. And then later on, let's say I do decide to use that more, I can then come up with a shortcut sequence to activate that if I want to. You could also, when you're working on this, look at shortcut suggestions. This will give you suggestions to shortcuts that are not used yet. So you could then, of course, use any of these. Maybe Shift Command 7 then will activate smooth. Finally, you can scroll to different areas of your commands here. So let's say you want to go to the bone menu, shortcuts. Well, you can click that and then it brings you to here and then you can find what you want to add as a shortcut and go from there. If at any time you don't want to use the template you created anymore, you can hit the delete key and that will remove the template then from Anime Studio and it will allow you then to get rid of it. Now you can create another template and you could keep creating different shortcut templates that you might want to use in different situations. It just depends on how you work. Finally, you can also hit Restore Defaults, and this will restore this template to your defaults. So basically what you started with, it'll be restored. And you can, of course, switch back and forth between your templates at any time. So anyway, if you're looking for more control over your shortcuts, definitely check this option out. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys, and we will see you next time.